President, may I introduce Mr. President John, John O'Brien, President of the Touchdown Club. Nice to see you, sir. Nice to see you. Thank you. And Mr. Martin Walsh of the Touchdown Mr. President. Club. How are you doing? Mr. President, Hi, it's great. Mr. Sam Lamar, President of the Touchdown Club. Nice to see you. Mr. Hayden at the touchdown. Hello there. How are you doing? <laughs> 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 we go over here back to the desk. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. These are our Timmy Awards, Mr. President. I have several rounds down above. I'm going to wait and see if they're not picked up. Timmy Awards, Mr. President. There. This represents your athletic prowess as, <laughs> as a blocking lineman for <laughs> Well, thank you very much. They don't quite resemble the Gipper. <laughs> no, they don't. But you know, the, 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 the Timmy is named wonderful. for that uh, exuberance of youth, of sports, of uh, the yeah. excellence of, uh, of a young boy well, in an old-fashioned outfit. Well, I'm greatly honored, and I know Nancy will feel the same. I accept it for for her also. Uh, I thank all of you. Well, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. And we hope we look forward to making you another presentation. You have received more Timmys than any other president. You received one as governor of California. Right. You received twice in office here as president. And so we look forward to presenting you with the fourth Timmy in your new career <laughs> when we can invite you back to Washington. Well, and we'll have a letter from you as I'm not sure what, but it'll be something great. I know that. <laughs> well, thank you. We were on this too long to show you. In 1957, we were here with your friend, Mr. Eisenhower, and Tuff, Tuffy Lee. And you and I are probably the only ones who remember these people. Yes. The Dutch, of course. Well, turn that around. And we remember my yeah. plate against him. Yes, that's right. <laughs> well, oh, my golly. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. We well, I appreciate it. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. And and our maybe I can leave. Thank, Thank you very much. Week. We're looking forward to seeing you again soon. I will leave these with you and Nancy so that you can visit us any time you want to. It's to your lifetime. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank Mr. President. Thank you, Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. ceremony this morning is going to begin with my reading the citation this is for the Presidential Citizens Medal. Whether on the battlefield or Capitol Hill, Senator Robert Dole has served America heroically. Senate Majority Leader during one of the most productive Congresses of recent times, he has also been a friend to veterans, farmers, and Americans from every walk of life. Bob Dole has stood for integrity, straight talk, and achievement throughout his years of distinguished public service. And I'm very proud and pleased to present him the Presidential Citizens Medal. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Sir, Elizabeth. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. I'm sure it's been a service in this question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President, how are you this morning? Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Thank you. Oh, yeah. Come on, Lori. Come on, Lori. Our daughter, Lori. Second oldest son, Bruce, here. Our youngest son, Robin. Our son-in-law, David Norcross. And the boy that isn't with us is Scott out in Chicago, but he had, uh, he's got work to do. Well, I am going to read the citation. Bob Michael, the man who could always be counted on by his president, his constituents, and his country. Selfless and devoted in his work as House Minority Leader, Bob Michael steered through Congress some of the most revolutionary and wide-ranging legislation of the post-war era. His legislative skills and distinguished service played a critical role in restoring America's economic and military strength and opening a new era of world peace and freedom. And I am very pleased, very happy present the Presidential Citizens oh, Award. Yeah, Mr. President, thank you so much, Mayor Hotel. Lord, but I got that call from Alan, I just didn't believe it. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. 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 See you just as you take off. Hey, do you need? I'm going to read the citation here to Senator Strom Thurmond. His 65 years of public service to the country he loves speaks not only to Strom Thurmond's legislative achievement, but his character, fortitude, and strength of mind and heart. A former judge, presidential candidate, and president pro tempore of the United States Senate, he worked to appoint conservative judges and strong proponents of constitutional law. The achievement of more than six decades have made the name of Strom Thurmond synonymous with distinguished public service and devotion to America. Strom, I'm very pleased and proud to present to you this the Presidential Citizen Award. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I appreciate this. Coming from the finest president since George Washington. Thank you very much. Sir. Mr. President, do you plan to relax the restrictions on the fine oil companies trading with Libya? Do I plan what? There's been some discussion that you may relax restrictions on five oil companies trading in Libya so that they can maintain their own assets and profits. I can only tell you that this is under study right now as to uh, their situation. Do you have any plans to pardon anyone? Hmm? Final dates, any plans to pardon anyone? Uh, well, there are always parties coming across my desk from the Justice heard? Department, and uh, no, that's not, that hasn't come to my desk for attention. That's the What you do, copycat? <laughs> <laughs> Evans, come on, oh, uh, the last time it was on your noses. Yes, sir. Hi, Mr. President. Stay right there. Oh. Hi, Mr. President. Well, you're late. No bandage. All the stitches taken out last night. Why don't we do the goof over here in front of you? Mr. President, we. Uh, we know you've got an awful lot of uh, going away presents lately, but we wanted to give you something that was uh, both unique and would remind you of us. So we'd like to present this on behalf of all 19 military aides that have served in your command. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Well, thank you very much. Five hats and a football. <laughs> yes, <Yeah. laughs> sir. I think you better move in and you're close. <laughs> Should we uh, try and get rid of our bandages? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. You've seen the picture with your nose is all bandaged up. Well, that was that was all you were. Can you turn sideways and get in a little closer? That's right. 
There. One big smile. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. I'm very pleased to have you. So, <laughs> I thought for I thought at first you were going to get something. That's his other hand. It is. It is hurt. It's hurt. It's not managing. Vivian walked in. You can take a look at her, Mr. President. And you just moved yeah, in. with the <laughs> nose patches. On. Well. Yes, that's that right. Get it off of there because I found out wearing it until I had to take it off. But it gets, it, then goes, gets all over your clothes. It's already, we, uh, we can't it's afford that. <laughs> it's all right, especially on the black here. It's yeah. all over there. Mr. President, it's been great, and I think you're the best commander in chief I've had in 21 years of service, with no doubt. Well, no, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. As far as the Marine Corps goes, you are the best commander in chief that the U.S. has ever had. Thank you. I'm very kind. I appreciate it. You know how the Navy feels, sir. Right? <laughs> Same here. We're going to miss you, sir. Oh, okay. Good luck with California. You prompt, we'll me to, you prompt me to tell the story about the fellow that was late for work seven minutes and the boss was waiting for him. He said, when you were in the service and you came in late, what did they say? Oh, he says, they just stood up and saluted and said, good morning, Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Thank, Thank you, you, Thank you very much. Thank you all for all you do.